So some of the comments, not all, but some of the comments under that video really showed me that y'all will sit here and complain about literally everything. Like if you are a teacher who does not like structure, you should not be following me. The point of that video being duetted was not to say you need to have your students line up just like this every day in order to be a good teacher. Nobody said that. Instead, the purpose was to point out to you how I know without a shadow of a doubt that that teacher took time to intentionally plan for how she wanted that procedure and routine to flow in her classroom. And because of her strategic intentional plan, you could see that students were able to line up with ease, that students knew exactly what to expect each and every day. And you can tell that these are the types of systems that she has in place that helps her to maximize her instructional time in her classroom that ultimately contributes to her students receiving the education they deserve. I work with teachers year round to build out systems in their classroom. One of those systems being procedures and routines that goes into their classroom management and culture plan. No teacher that I work with has a procedure and routine that looks like another teacher I work with or another teacher I work with. Every single procedure and routine needs to be in alignment with who you are uniquely and culturally responsive to the needs of your students. So if that execution that you saw in the video doesn't work for you, don't do it, but figure out a way to weave structure and intentionality into your classroom environment. It will literally eliminate up to like 90% of these disruptive behaviors that you keep experiencing in your classroom. And for the people being like, oh, try that with 30 kids. Baby, I had 30 plus kids in my room each and every day, and we had structures similar to that and worked it flawlessly. So number does not matter.